Hi everyone, this is AutoCAD 3D Lesson 1. If you know AutoCAD 2D and want to learn AutoCAD 3D, this is the lesson for you. First, you need to have some basic concept like we draw everything one to one, two sides. For example, if we have a desk uh, 1.6 meter, we will draw it 1,600 in AutoCAD. Then, the 2D skill you learn will be will all be applied in 3D as well. Okay. So before we start, we always need to do some basic setup. Why? Because this is easier for you to work with in 3D environment. So first thing is you need to change the 3D modern interface. To do that, move your mouse to the lower right corner, click on this button, and then select 3D modeling. Okay, so now you see all these 3D commands are there. 2D commands are still there. And then you need to show and hide some icons. So to do that, go to the lower right corner, click this button, customization. Okay, and make sure transparency is checked. Selection cycle length, 3D object snap, and also dynamic UCS. Okay, so once you show all these buttons, you also want to disable the dynamic UCS for the moment. Normally, we like to disable it. When we need to use it, we turn it on. Otherwise, disable it. Okay. Next thing is using metric unit, you should select the ACAT ISO template. That means you click over new drawing. Okay, so ACAT ISO open. Okay, that's all you need to do. Now, first thing to know in 3D is you need to know how to look at an object in different angle, change the real angle. Two ways to do it. First, use this navigation view clip. So click over the this corner here to give you isometric view. Click on the top will give you back the top view. Of course you can click anywhere here. But I suggest you just do use these two button, okay? The top and the corner, okay? Now let's try create a 3D box. So isometric view, a box, okay? So it asks you for the first corner and opposite corner for the base of the box, and then you move your mouse to define the height. So now you can see we are in isometric view. If we want to go back to top view, just click the top, okay? So isometric and top. The other way to change your view angle is shift mouse, middle mouse view. So you hold the shift key and hold your middle mouse view. And if you move horizontally, you are looking around the object. If you move vertically, you are seeing the bottom. And you are seeing the top if you're moving down. Okay. Next thing you need to know is change the display style. To do that, you move over to upper left corner of your viewport screen and click on the button here okay and then select conceptual now it's easier for you to see the object in 3d okay 
Normally, we draw 2D in top view. We and use wireframe. So for 2D, we go back to top view and 2D wireframe. For 3D, we like to be in isometric view and conceptual. The first pull command. First, let's draw some 2D object, basic 2D rectangle. For example, I draw one rectangle, okay, and then I draw another one. Okay, now I want to make it a 3D object. So I will select the first pull command here. Okay, so click it. And then move my mouse over inside the boundary. If you are clicking inside the inner boundary, it will exclude this one. I escape, cancel. And then if uh, in between the boundary, it will give you this. So this is the most important way to to create 3D object okay. in AutoCAD. Next lesson, we are going to draw a basic 3D windows. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.